Welcome, innovative viewers, to Science and Spirituality. The human brain is a vastly complex organ containing some 50 to 100 billion nerve cells, or neurons. One of the amazing aspects of the brain is that it continues to produce new neurons throughout our life and is able to redefine its structure over time after new experiences such as learning a new skill or seeing a new city. This rearranging of neural pathways is referred to as brain plasticity or neuroplasticity. What role does meditation play in the development of our brain, how it functions, and the conscious states we experience? For answers to these questions, we turned to Dr. Fred Travis, the chair of the Maharishi Vedic Science Department and director of the Center for Brain, Consciousness and Cognition at the Maharishi University of Management in Iowa, USA. For the past 20 years, he has researched the evolution of the human brain and investigated the nature of consciousness. He has published 40 academic papers regarding research in these areas. I'm interested in how the brain changes over the whole lifespan and how different experiences affect the brain, how stress, how fatigue affects the brain, how learning affects the brain, also how meditation practice affects the brain. We were fortunate to see firsthand some of the research Dr. Travis is conducting regarding how meditation influences the brain's functions. What we have here today, one of our first year students, Tor Travis, we're recording his brain waves while he's doing um, computer tasks, and we'll see how these change while he's here at Maharshi University of Management. What we find is uh, the meditation practice that we practice here, the transcendental meditation technique, it has very profound effects on increasing the orderliness in the front parts of the brain that has to do with thinking, decision making, um, has to do with planning, judgment. And so we'll just documenting how his education is affecting his brain. Dr. Travis is using an EEG, or electroencephalogram machine, to get a reading of Tor Travis's brain. The EEG machine can detect different brainwave patterns known as beta, alpha, theta, and delta. These four patterns represent a continuum of consciousness. For example, beta waves are associated with a keen alertness of our surroundings, while delta waves are present when we are in deep sleep. What we have here is electrical activity going on at 32 points on Taurus scalp. And so we see there all the wires coming from different points on his head. As each wire is being reflected by one line here. These here in the top are the front left of the brain. These are the back. These are the front right. Here we have when he just put his attention to the screen to look at what is happening. So now we'll be looking at his brain waves while he's performing this task. So he'll first begin. You'll see a star, hear a tone, so this is happening right here. So there's the asterisk, there's a response. We see this activity here when he actually responded. This is a simple task. What types of brain waves are present when one is in a state of meditation? A student at the school now points out for us how Tor Travis's brain waves change. He's now, during this meditation, you can look at a different change in his brain pattern. Generally, we can see that it's, it's more calm and more quiet. So it's indicate that the activity of the brain becomes subtle. So. Yeah, here is typical, it's very low brain wave. Dr. Travis describes a research study in which he was involved that not only measured the brain activity of college students who learned transcendental meditation, but the longer term results of practicing meditation on the brain. We followed 50 college students and half of them learned the transcendental meditation practice and half did not. Those who learned the TM practice, what we found is at the end of 
two and a half months of practicing Tian, they had much more of the brain signature uh, seen during meditation. What was happening, the experience during meditation was being brought into activity. Those students who did not learn TM actually had less integrated brain activity. We looked at their sleepiness. They, they had greater chance, they were more sleepy, they were more fatigued. We looked at their um, autonomic functioning, how irritable, how jumpy, how anxious they were, and that also went up. What this is finding is that experience is changing the brain. One uh, unique aspect of transcendental meditation is people can master it very quickly. It takes a matter of a few weeks. And then the benefits are seen in activity. You learn to contact a new state of mind, the source of all the many thoughts you have during the day. Take the attention to that level of creativity of intelligence. Then when you come out into activity, you have that connection that you're bringing with you. And so we find people with transcendental meditation practice can quickly settle the mind down to the source of thought. We call it pure consciousness or transcendental consciousness. And then over time, they bring that into activity. We will be right back with more from our interview with Dr. Fred Travis of the Maharishi University of Management after these brief messages. This is Science and Spirituality. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. <laughs> 